My name is Antonio Lain, and I'm the founder of Caviar's Labs. What can we do with an autonomous cloud assistant? Let's implement cloud-based multitasking. Launch long-running tasks in the cloud and make them feel local. To keep the local illusion, we need a smooth context switch between tasks, which always shows progress. And we do that with proactive server-side rendering. What do we mean by proactive? Traditional server-side rendering is triggered by a request, which renders the page and returns the HTML. Instead, with proactive server-side rendering, we don't wait for the request. Whenever there is a significant change of the page and a client is expected to see it, we render the HTML and push it to an external cache close to the client. And then the client looks it up in this cache first, and if found, it continues with hydration, similar to a standard SSR. If it's not in the cache, it just forwards the request to the cloud assistant. What is the big deal with proactive? Think 5G mobile networks. It is easier than ever with products like AWS Wavelength to manage our cache inside the network of, for example, Verizon, T-Mobile, or AT&T. Loading a page from that cache using a 5G mobile phone is low tens of milliseconds, instantly. And that's dynamic content. Let's show an example. There's no 5G network, but with my internet connection, I can ping the cache in less than 30 milliseconds. My Hello World example uses proactive service -side rendering. It keeps incrementing a counter in the cloud, and whenever it is a multiple of five, it sends a notification. The current counter is 45,980. We context switch to another counter, and when we go back to the original counter, now is larger and the transitions are smooth. Let's see what happens when we disable proactive service -side rendering. There's now very visible blinking when we context switch. Let's enable it again. And now the context switch is smooth again. So what is the secret? Let's look at the network profile. We first load from the cache with an unguessable key provided by the launcher app. And it takes only 41 milliseconds to show the page. And then the JavaScript loads, opens the WebSocket, contacts the Cloud Assistant, and all that takes much longer. But this happens in the background and the user does not see that. We are cheating a bit by animating the transition. Interactivity needs JavaScript and by, by adding a half a second of transition, we give it time to settle. But during the transition, we see the current values instantly. To learn more about proactive server-side rendering, visit our website. The Hello World example is also in GitHub. Thanks for listening.